What's up guys, this is a quick video on how to upgrade your PlayStation 4 hard drive. Uh, first thing you're going to need, obviously, is a new hard drive. This happens to be 2 terabytes and a Phillips head screwdriver. Alright, first thing you're going to do is pop this little cover off. Now, there's no screws you have to take out beforehand or anything like that, it's just, it pops it right off. You push down and out. Alright, once you get that out, you just lift it straight out. It could be a little tricky for your first time, but just set this to the side. And uh, first thing you want to do once you have that off is you'll see a little screw right here on the corner. It has like controller buttons on it, the X, square, triangle, circle. That's the first screw you're going to take out. That releases the hard drive so you can pull out the tray, which will let you put the new one in. Now basically all you have to do is just loosen it a little bit and you can get the rest by hand. Make sure you don't misplace your screws. There's only five total screws that have to come out, but there's one of them. This is what it looks like. It has all the buttons on it. Of course it's not going to focus. But anyway, once you get that first screw out, you just pull this tray out. And there's four screws, one here, 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 and here. You unscrew those, and this will slide right out. Now, I'm going to fast forward while I do mine. All right, once you get the four screws out, you just slide the tray right out. Remember which way it goes in. Set this to the side. Now... Before I put this in, let me tell you guys that when you order your hard drive, you have to make sure it's a two and a half inch hard drive and no more than 9.5 millimeter stick or else it will not fit in this tray. Uh, this is a 2000 gigabyte hard drive. I got this off of eBay for about 115 bucks. I'll have a link to that in the description. It's about the only one I could find that was two terabytes with all the size and dimensions that would fit in the PlayStation. So now you just take your hard drive, slide it back in the slot, and reverse process. Put the four screws back in. I'll fast forward again while I do that because this part sometimes you see they don't line up in there. You gotta kinda move it around to get it. But go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. Once that's complete you just take it Put it back in the slot. Now, keep in mind when you're tightening these screws back up, do not over tighten them. All right, you can put it back in the tray. You don't have to slam it. You just push it straight in. Get the last screw, the one with the letters on it, and you just go ahead and put it back in where it was. Now, for all these screws, if you just did them hand tight, it would probably be good enough, but uh. You could give it one little twist once you get it where you want it. All right, now the hard drive is installed. You're gonna go ahead and just put this back on. Make sure you do the back first. Put it over the back and then bring it forward, and then just clip it right back into place. And now you need to go to your computer and get a file on your flash drive to put in the PS4 because when you put a new hard drive in the system it has no idea what a PlayStation is anything that it needs to do so you need to go to the computer and I'll show you how to get the file you need to make this thing work alright now that you've installed a new hard drive into your console this is where your flash drive comes into play now before I tell you what you need to download on your flash drive you need to make sure that it is at least a one gigabyte drive and if you click on it right click and hit properties or click on it once and look at the bottom make sure the file system is a FAT32 if it's not you're gonna have to right click and hit format but with that being said on your flash drive you're gonna need to make a PS4 folder it has to be all capital letters and inside that folder you're gonna need to put update all capital letters as well once you're done with that step you can go ahead and go to playstation.com and the reason you need to come here is because when you put a new hard drive in your console, it has no data on it, which means it has no idea what it's in, what it needs to run. 
So Shiny provides you a system update that you could put on the flash drive, which then you could put into your PS4 system with the new hard drive, and it'll boot up and let you go through the setup process. So at the top, you're going to hit Get Help, and then you're going to have to just hit System Updates, and then click PS4 System Update. Now, if you're doing this on a computer, which I'm sure most of you are, do not hit Download Now right here. That is the wrong link. You have to scroll down to where you see update using a computer. Now, it, right here is an image of what I told you to do on your flash drive, just in case you forget. But update using a computer. Right here is where you need to be. Now, you need to visit here to download that file that you're going to need to start up your system. I already did it, so I'm not going to click here. But the file. If you did it right, it should be 735 megabytes. Right here, you can see I already did it, and here's the file name. So once that is done, you can go ahead and take out the flash drive, and then go back to your PS3. I'll see you guys there. Here, you can go ahead and unplug your flash drive and move over to the PlayStation and plug it in. Uh, once you plug the flash drive in, you might as well go ahead and plug in your controller as well. Uh, when this boots up, it's going to be like a new console, and you're going to have to press the PS button to use the controller and all that stuff. But once that's all plugged in, you can go ahead and press the power button and keep holding it down until you hear two beeps. So I'm going to go ahead and press it. That's the first beep. You keep holding it down until you hear the second. Now you can take your hand off. And what this is going to do is put the PlayStation in safe mode which will bring up a menu where you could hit update from storage device which would be the flash drive so we're going to go ahead and this is where you press the PS button now you're going to scroll down to step number seven which is initialize PS4 reinstall the system software uh, go ahead and click enter on that and then hit OK now I'm going to go ahead and let this update and do its thing and we'll be right back PS4 will be initialized, all users and data will be deleted. You can go ahead and hit yes on this because it's a new hard drive anyway, it's just formatting it for the PlayStation. So go ahead and let it go through this process as well. After the system resets, it's going to go ahead and do the PlayStation update. Just go ahead and let it do its thing here. Um, I'll come back right after it's finished. Alright, as this uh, install update finishes, I'm going to go ahead and note that it took about 4 minutes, so you know what to expect. After that is finished, it's going to go ahead and reboot your console, and then it should ask you to go ahead and set it up as if it were brand new out the box. So we'll go ahead and wait for it to boot up here. And there you go guys, that's about all it's to it. Uh, this is exactly the screen you would see if it was brand new out the box with the standard hard drive. And um, it's ready to go. Uh, thanks for watching guys and have a good one.